And welcome back to the pit. It's time now for our On the Beat segment. Joining me tonight, Joe Baird of the Salt Lake City Tribune, along with Andy Katz of the Albuquerque Journal. And Joe, let me start with you. Uh, what do you make of this BYU team this year? We haven't seen them yet. How good are they? Well, I, you know, I, they're off to a real good start. Uh, they're pretty happy with the way they're playing, going into conference play. Everybody seems to be pretty happy with their roles. And, of course, that was a problem for them last year. Too many guys, not enough minutes. I think this year it's a little more settled as far as rotation and who's playing what role on this team. Uh, there's always areas where they can be better, but I, I think as far as going into the conference, I think they're about as uh, pleased as uh, they can be. Andy, how about you as far as a key matchup, something that you can point out to us tonight? Well, we know that Russell Larson's going to score. He's going to get his point, and the inside player is going to play well for BYU. The key matchups for New Mexico are guarding Randy Reed. If he scores 18-20, to 20, that means New Mexico is probably in trouble. For BYU, they're going to have to contend with a very, very quick Greg Brown, a guard they haven't seen like that this year, and Marlo White. He poses some matchup problems for them early. Look for them to try to post up Marlo White early with a Shane Knight or Mark Durant when he comes in. Lobos are a favorite in this game. Does that surprise you? Not really, because they've been playing well at home, and BYU has to start it with three straight row games in the WAC, but I, this one's going to be close. Joe, we were talking before as far as uh, Lobos having to stay out of foul trouble. Wh what's the problem for New Mexico? Well, I, I think with Hayden being out, they're, they're a guy short, and this is obviously the, the biggest, strongest team in the league, and I think they're going to try to exploit that right off the bat, so it's really incumbent on Nevis and uh, Lamar to stay out of foul trouble. Okay, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Enjoyed it. Well, we'll be back again in just a moment from the pit. We will meet our three-point smile player of the night, so stay with us. <laughs> 